So as of this moment that I'm recording this video, which today is February 8, 2020, there has been about 31,481 cases reported of the coronavirus. Um, of those, 638 people have died. Now, one thing many of you guys have to understand is that 636 of those 638 have actually died in China. Um, two only have really died elsewhere. Now, yes, uh, you know, numbers are, it shows that uh, the cases have been reported in probably about a couple dozen other countries outside of China, but really the outbreak uh, started in China and not just, you know, China generally, but in their, uh, uh, one of their cities called Wuhan. Now, I understand this is a super scary thing that many of you guys that are, you know, uh, uh, worried about and, and not even from a business standpoint, but really from a, a just a health and wellness standpoint, you know. Um, I know myself, every time I see someone, you know, coughing or, or simply sneezing, I freak out, right? And then I try to, like, run away, you know. Um, I got sick a few days ago and I was, you know, worried about it, like, oh my God, do I have the coronavirus, you know? So those kind of things start you know kind of getting in your mind and especially when you are seeing it on social media every time you go on yahoo you see the little pop-up every time you turn on the news channel you see the, you know people talking about it and stuff like that and one thing that you guys do have to understand is that the media which is a multi-billion dollar industry really makes their money simply on what is happening right now right it's just like tmz they make their money on what you know celebrities doing and they go in and kind of after them and then try to kind of dig under them that's how the media is you know they kind of target the nowadays thing and then they try to blow it up they try to magnify it so one thing that I want to, you know, want you guys to get from this video is we're going to be talking about the business aspect of it. But before we go in there, I want you guys to understand that this is not the first time that the world has had a major outbreak, right? We have gone, you know, uh, we've gone beyond it in the past and we will go beyond it this time as well. This is just a setback, right? So you need to, enter, you know, like, should you be panicking? No, should you be cautious? Absolutely, you know, try to take, you know, uh, uh, precautionary measures and, and, and try to, you know, like sanitize your hands. Um, if you do get sick, take care of yourself and everything, but just don't, you know, freak out about it and let it really affect your day-to-day -day life. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Also consider subscribing as I drop brand new content about Amazon FBA tips and tricks that you can take and utilize in your business today. Now, I know that many people are simply freaking out and, and you know, uh, um, they might even be scared of ordering things from China or that come from China or they know that are made in China because simply they think that, you know, well, what if I actually, you know, get, uh, uh, get the virus right through these products that are coming from China? Well, as I went looking at uh, the one of the, the latest reports by um, CDC, which is the Centers um, of Disease or Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. What they say is because of poor severability of these um, coronaviruses on surfaces, there are these are th there are likely very low risk of spread from products of packaging that are shipped over period of days of weeks. Um, and, and and simply so, what they're saying is that the actual virus needs specific you know, uh, climate and specific kind of temperature for it to really sit and, and, and kind of live. So when it's on the surface and it stays there for, for a long periods of time, it simply dies. And when you're, you know, you're getting your supplies, even if let's say someone sneezes on your package, now the virus is on there, they package it, they get it shipped over to, you know, overseas. I mean, it takes at least a week or two for the supplies to get to the, to the, to the, um, to Amazon's warehouses and then from there these products sit in Amazon for you know I mean they could sit there for at least a week or a month or months until they are shipped to the customer so there is you know there is a long period of time there and the virus just simply cannot live now the following are three tips that you can take and really put into work in your business that will help you during this period of the coronavirus outbreak number one you do need to understand that there will be a delay. If you are trying to communicate with your, you know, with your suppliers and trying to have them ship out some, um, some of your supplies, do understand that there will be a delay. Now, there was already a delay because of uh, the whole thing that was with the new Chinese New Year's, 
Um, I know many of our suppliers were going to wait until about the 5th or the 10th even to come back to work. However, a lot of those breaks are actually now prolonged until about the 20th or so. So it will be a little longer until your suppliers are actually able to ship out your supplies. Now, one thing is you need to understand that there shouldn't be a reason for you to panic. Should you be able to plan better? Yes. Should you be able to kind of, you know, try to work with how much you're selling and then also your customers and everything like that? Absolutely. You know, this is going to be just a setback in your business. There shouldn't be a reason for you to completely freak out and really try to kind of reconfigure your entire business model just simply because of what is happening. The second thing is better planning. Now, because the time that your supplies get manufactured, shipped, and also to Amazon is going to be longer, you do need to, you know, first understand your volume, how much you are selling, and then exactly know how to plan for that, right? Whether if you need to place bigger orders with your suppliers right now, for the future, because once these suppliers actually become available to ship out products, many people are going to be jump on them and then simply get them to order a bunch of products, simply because number one, you already had the break for the Chinese New Year's, and then number two, now the pre-long break for the outbreak. Now, the third thing is simply creating better relationships with your suppliers. You see, this is a great time for you to start really bonding with those suppliers. Just understand how would you feel if this thing was happening in your own, you know, hometown, your own home country, in the place where you live and you do business. Just imagine how their lives are day to day, very afraid, very scared. You know, this is all over the news. I mean, we are thousands and thousands of miles away and we are already freaking out here. Just imagine how they are, you know, kind of like really dealing with it right now, especially when they can't even go to work, they can't make money, they can't do all those things where this is kind of how they, like this is their way of living, right? And now they can't do it. So this is a great time for you to be compassionate with your suppliers, build good relationships so that way this will really show them that, hey, you know what, this is a good person that I can deal with in the future. And to be honest with you, you could even be getting better deals because of the way that you're interacting with these suppliers. So I really hope that those tips will help you guys to better really, you know, get yourself ready for, you know, what is happening right now and really better understand how to act towards it right now, whether if you are a beginner seller that hasn't sold on Amazon or, you know, someone who has been selling on Amazon, these tips should work for you. You know, if you're completely a beginner, take your time to better understand the marketplace, take your time to better, you know, know what is out there really, and maybe do a little bit further market research on the products you are trying to um, sell until your suppliers are available. And uh, and once again, create that, that relationship with your suppliers and, and you know, don't freak out, better plan for the future. But um, you know, this is, one, once again guys, this is not the first time that the world gets an outbreak like this. This is just another setback that the world will, you know, heal from uh, sooner rather than later. But in the meantime, you know, do plan better. Do also take care of yourself, your family and your loved ones. You know, don't panic, but do take, you know, do be a little bit more cautious than you are on a regular basis. Now, with that being said, guys, Bashar Ketu here. I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, share it with your friends, with someone who, you know, maybe wants and needs to hear this, right? Also, another thing is if you are a complete beginner or someone that is struggling with selling on Amazon and would rather have someone walk you through the process step by step, um, I have made available a couple spots on my team. Um, on my team's calendar where we'll hop on a free call with either me or one of my team members. We'll hop on a free call with you to kind of answer any questions you may have. Um, also figure out if you would be a good fit to work with us and if we can help you actually go to the next level. So if you want to be part of that and really see how we can help, there is a link in the description. It's a short application. Fill it out, schedule a call, and let's see if we can help you. Once again, guys, Bashar Ketu here. I'll see you guys next Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, hope you guys have a great week. Have yourselves a great day and take care.